Hi Semper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well today it's another envelope. This time I'm going to show you how to make an envelope with uh, the DSP but the regular size. So um, and very simple, just a few tips I'm going to give you uh, while uh, I'm doing the video. So let's get started. What I'm using today, I'm doing, um, sorry I'm backing track here. I'm using the DSP from Celebration and I'm doing it for this card. I think this paper just looks like scale for fishy. See how it goes? It just looks like this scale. So. I'm going to have another video to show how to do the fish, I guess. So today it's going to be about the envelope. So what we're going to need, it's our score um, board, Simply Score. Yes, it's the one from Stamping Up and I absolutely love it because we get the little marker. I didn't place them but I could have uh, placed them because I'm just doing one to put uh, to mark our um, where we want to score and that's what I love about this plus it go to the one eighth of an inch it is awesome so uh, like I said I'm not using the marker today what we're gonna need it's a piece of um, DSP and the size of this it's ten and a quarter long by seven and a quarter so ten and a quarter by seven and a quarter now we're going to score at um, on this way, on the long way. We I'm on this side though, so I should flip this around. I'm going to have that there. We're going to score at three quarter inch. So this is three quarter. And another thing that I should mention when we uh, score on DSP. I prefer the big fat end over the tiny end. The reason why the tiny end, if you get a little bit too much pressure, you're going to go right through your paper. And this one, it's I didn't go through my paper yet, so I like this one better. But when it comes to cardstock, I like this end, the smaller end better. Okay, and then uh, next score, it's going to be at six and a half. Six and a half and you see it's going to be three quarter here and three quarter there so three quarter six and a half flip this around and score at two and a quarter so two and a quarter and then we're going to score at six and three quarter so I'm going to repeat this two and a half and I did uh, I'm sorry two and a quarter I got it right two and a quarter and six and three quarter two and one quarter six and three quarter and on the other way was three quarter and six and a half now we are done with our score pal let's put that away and now you know what's coming up yes we're going to reinforce what we score. Reinforce this. Reinforce. You want to reinforce everything that you uh, score. It makes it a lot easier to work with. Now, the center one you don't want to cut the uh, flat. At each end you want to cut the flat. So, I got my big scissors here, and when I cut, I want to go inside the score line, not on the outside, because you want to make sure you cut it all this off. It's better to cut a little bit more than not enough, because if you don't cut enough, what happens, it's um, when you come to fold your card, it it on the side, and then you don't have a nice, um, it don't close nice. and I went cricket a little bit there. I can never cut straight. Really, for this, because it's kind of long, I should have um, used my uh, cutting board. 
yes I'm using my uh, ribbon scissors those one are shot I got a new pair coming up and I will put a big ribbon on it so then it's going to remind me don't use it on paper I absolutely love those big scissors usually for paper I use my little snip but when it's a long piece like that I like these scissors it go much faster now what we're going to do, this is your top, this is the bottom, so this is going to get blue. But I want to um, round the corner, just like a real envelope. Do I have one here? I don't even have one here. Oh yes I do. See? Real envelope, it's rounded, you can see, and it's rounded here. So we're going to round that. We're going to round this part. Around this and this here see you cannot go there what you have to do is fold this because you get the flap that that stops so if you fold it down then you can go and uh, round this I went side a bit and again keep this down and round this one up voila the bottom one we don't have to do it because we will not it won't show it's going to get covered but I want to round these one the bottom of the little flap that go inside. I'm saying we don't have to. It's better if I clean this then I can see better. Here we go. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use the tumble glue and it's two in at this. This is like when I do little uh, like paper uh, punch art, I like this end but for the envelope I like this fat end. And what you're going to do is put the glue all the way here and just go wide as the, the glue tip is. That's going to be plenty because you don't want to pass this because if you pass that what's going to happen it's going to glue the whole thing. See you just put the little layers that's it. Then take this, close this down and this is going to hold your uh, envelope very good. Voila. And then people say, well, how are you going to address it? I would use an ad, uh, address label. And then when you open it up, your card fits perfectly in it. Voila. So when somebody got it, they got the design envelope. I absolutely love it. And then you get this. So that is it, my friend. So now you know all about envelopes. Till next time, happy stamping.